Local officials in the migrant landing hotspot of Kent have warned that they are at the breaking point as nearly 40,000 illegals have landed in Britain this year, sparking chaotic scenes across the country. The growing migrant crisis, which has been dubbed an invasion by Home Secretary Suella Braverman, has left local the local government in Kent reeling, with council leaders informing the Home Secretary that they no longer have the ability to provide their own local children with education and other services as the system has prioritized the children of illegal migrants. A letter to Braverman from all 14 local authorities in the county said that children in Ashford and Canterbury currently have no Year 7 and Year 9 places for local children due to the unexpected and therefore unplanned for arrivals of refugee children disproportionately placed by the Home Office in these two local authority areas. Local children are having to travel to other towns to access their education, placing further financial burden on Kent County Council who have to fund their home to school transport as a result the local officials added. Put simply, Kent is at breaking point, they declared, explaining that local public services, including health care and education, were already put under heavy strain due to the cost of living crisis and have been pushed to the limit by the massive flows of illegal aliens crossing the English Channel. During the 2016 EU referendum, Brexit leader Nigel Farage was lambasted for using the very same breaking point phrase in a campaign poster calling for Britain to break free from the bloc and take back control of the nation's borders. For the poster, Mr Farage was reported to the police by a union boss, who accused the campaigner of inciting racial hatred. The local council leaders went on to say that they have 20,000 households on the waiting list for social housing, soaring costs and limited availability of private rented sector and temporary accommodation. The migrant crisis has not only placed strains on social services, with the record numbers of illegals costing the British taxpayer millions per day to house them in hotels across the country. According to a report from the Sun newspaper on Thursday, one in four hotels being used to house migrants are either four- or five-star luxury accommodations. In a stunning turn of events, a group of RNLI volunteer lifeboat operators who are frequently tasked with escorting migrants ashore in the English Channel for the government were kicked reportedly out of their hotel midway through their stay without warning on Tuesday so that the hotel could repurpose the rooms for migrants. On Wednesday, footage also emerged of a group of migrants protesting outside a holiday inn in Essex complaining about the free food and accommodation they have received at taxpayer expense. On his GB News primetime program, Nigel Farage quipped, I'm not sure the Savoy would make some of these people happy. London also saw chaotic scenes this week, with a group of 11 migrant men left at Victoria Station after hundreds were transported from the Manston Processing Centre which was designed to hold only 1,000 people for a 24-hour period but was holding upwards of 2,600 migrants for often much longer stretches. Outbreaks of unrest among the migrants as well as cases of diphtheria were reported as having occurred as a result of the overcrowding. The migrants were reportedly bused from the centre to London, where they were set loose without any place to stay or the government making any attempt to keep track of their whereabouts. The persistent failures of the government to handle the crisis has seen the public lose faith in its ability, with a GB News poll finding this week that 58% of the public think the British government has lost control of the country's borders. This increases to 75% for conservative voters and 76% for those who voted for Brexit.